Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Grant. Today we'll design a min heap and we'll do it using a array. Now, before starting the design for the heap, we'll learn something about what is a heap, how it looks like, how it is represented, and what are the method that a heap supports. So first of all, uh, and also we'll learn about some of the property of the heap. So the first property of heap is it is like a binary tree and it is like a complete binary tree which is loaded on the left hand side so what is meant by this is suppose you have a tree and uh, let me select the circle and we'll draw so we have circle like this we have some circle like this so these are like nodes of a tree let me create some more node so we have something like this and then we connect it using arrow so this is the left hand side this will be the right hand side and again this will be the left left child of this so this structure it represents a heap because it is a complete binary tree and it is loaded on the left hand side if suppose i remove this one and we remove this thing and rather than that i add something here which is the left side of this right tree so this is also a binary tree but this is not loaded on the left hand side it is loaded on the right hand side so it does not represent a heap if it if it is a heap or if you have to convert it into a heap you need to remove this and you have to add the left child to the left uh, you have to load it on the left hand side basically so it has to be converted into the previous structure that we had so this is one property of heap that it should be a complete binary tree loaded on the left hand side now the next property of a heap is it is related to whether it is a min heap or max heap so if a heap is a min heap then all the child of uh, all the child of a parent node so if this is the parent node these two are the child of this node so if it is a min heap then the value of the parent node will always be less than the value of its child so the least value will be there at the top which will be at the head of the uh, head of the binary tree so basically in this particular case it should be on the root node so for example if this is supposed to be a binary tree then it should have a value something like this so if this is 5 this can be 6 this can be 8 so if you see here these values these are bigger than the parent value so parent has the minimum value in this binary tree and this property should follow recursively so what I, what it means is that if we create another node here and we create one more node here and let us connect so this is the right and this is the left so these two values should be greater than this value the parent value so this can be 8 which is same as this one which still holds good in this particular scenario and this can be 10 so this is also a perfectly fine uh, min heap now it does not matter whether this is 8 or 18 so left and right it does not matter at which side is smaller or which side is bigger in case of heap as long as at each level or each parent node has a value smaller than the child or all its child basically so it cannot happen that here we have 5 and this value is bigger than 5 it, it will definitely contradict the point because if this is greater than 5 it means that it is greater than the value we have here and it is breaking the uh, the property of the heap which says that all the parents will have smaller value compared to its child and this is true for min heap for max heap it will be the other way around all the parent will have value which will be greater than its child and uh, of course it does not matter which side the value is higher whether left or right it does not matter it is not like a binary search tree here or so so these are the two most important property of a heap now another property of heap that you have to remember is if 
a parent node if suppose this is present at a position called x so the le uh, the left child of this parent node will be present at a position 2 times x plus 1 and this will be present at a position 2 times x plus 2 so that is how the position will be so this will have so again if this 2x plus 1 if this is y so if i say y is equals to this then position of this node will be 2 times y plus 1 and position of this node will be oops, sorry so this will be 2 times y plus 2 so what it means is if this is first position so this will be equal to or if this is 0th position so this will be equal to 2 into 0 plus 1 which is 1 this will be 2 into 0 plus uh, 2 into 0 which is 0 plus 2 which is position 2 and for this one since this is position 1 so this will be position 2 into 1 plus 1 which is 3 and this will be at a position 2 into 1 plus 2 which is 2 plus 2 4 so if i construct an array so x will be at if x is at position 0 2x plus 1 will be at position 1, 2x plus 2 will be at position 2 and this this position 2y plus 1 this is your 2 into 2 uh, sorry 2 into 1 plus 1 so this will be position 3 and this will be position 4 so effectively I say that if this is equals to 0 this will be my first position this will be my second position in array this will be my third position in array and this will be my fourth position in array let us move this 10 inside sorry this will be 4 so i hope the point is clear what i want to state here so if uh, the point here is that if a root is present at or if a node is uh, if a parent node is present at a position x then uh, the left child of that parent node will be present at position 2x plus 1 and the right side will be present at position 2x plus 2 in the array representation of the heap so since we are constructing min heap using array here so that is why the position of parent to child is very much important so now we have understood few things let me jot down the point so first thing that we understand here is that uh, heap is represented like uh, binary tree which is which is complete and loaded on left side so this is the first point second point that we learned about heap is that uh, heap should have if it is a min heap yeah, min heap will have parent node value less than its child and this has to be true for all parent nodes and third is if parent node location in array is x then its left child will be at 2x plus 1 and right right child will be at 2x plus 2 so these are the three important properties and we have to keep in mind uh, why when we are implementing this is because a lot of function that we are going to implement or a lot of method for the heap that we are going to implement will require these property to be true now let's look at the method that the heap support so first method will be the simplest one which is peak so what peak method will do is it will return the topmost element from the heap so if you are from java background this heap min heap or max heap will be the underlining data structure for your priority queues so wherever you are going to use priority queue like when you are going to solve problem like kth element or so so you are going to use min heap and uh, you are going to use priority queues basically and there you are going to use min heap now the first method is peak method what peak method will do is it will look into the 
uh, in the heap and it will it will return the topmost node or the root node and it will just return the value of the root node it will not remove the root node from the binary tree or the min heap the next method that we will uh, add or implement here is insert so how we will insert value to this heap another will be poll so poll is similar to peak which re returns the topmost node or the root node but the difference between poll and peak is poll will remove the node from the heap so once you poll that element it will be removed from uh, from the heap so if it raise a priority queue if you are thinking in terms of that then if you poll an element from the priority queue you are basically removing that element from the queue we have peak insert poll and the other important method in case of heap it will be a heapify method so what heapify will do is uh, i will explain it more in detail when we implement this so why heapify heapify is required in case of min heap or max heap or in heap in general is because you have to arrange all your nodes in a particular order so that it conforms to all these property so suppose if we have this heap and if i have to insert a new element and the value of so i i am going to insert one more node and that node has value 1 now where this one should lie it should lie at the very top so how do i add it on the top or if i have to add an element and it has a value 3 so it should lie somewhere here on the left hand side or maybe right hand side here 3 and then i have to move again i have to move 8 to some other place so heapify is that method which will be run every time when you do a poll or an insert i explained about the insert part same thing will happen for poll so if i poll this 6 or if i poll 5 it will be removed from the heap and then i have to replace it with the lowest element that is present in this particular heap so that time also you have to run a heapify function and uh, you have to basically return the heap or form the heap in the structured way so that it conforms to all these three property so that is why heapify method is very important so these are the four method that i'm going to implement i'll show you in the code how we can do it and it should be very straightforward one peak will be very straightforward and we'll try to implement everything in order of one time complexity only function which will take more time will be your heapify method but if your heap is a structured heap if you are inserting the value in a proper order or in a proper way then your heapify will be called very less or even if it is called it will not be in a quadratic kind of way so we'll implement it in that way so let's jump into the code and we'll implement all these methods so we have created a class called minheap and the property of this class will be we will have some capacity we'll have the size of the heap and we'll have the heap array so we are going to implement an integer heap so like we discussed in the theoretical section that we are going to create a min heap out of the array or using the array so in the constructor we are initializing the capacity and we are initializing the heap now the first method that we are going to implement will be very simple it will be peak method so we have public it will return integer when we peak and the method name will be peak and what we need to do in peak method is first we need to check whether the heap was initialized or whether there is something in the heap or not so we'll put a condition and we'll say if heap dot length if this is equals to zero it means there is nothing in the heap to return so we'll throw new illegal state exception and we'll say heap is empty and if we are not throwing the exception then we'll simply return the first element of the array because first element of the array is what is returned when we do a peak and nothing else is done we don't remove we don't do anything else so this is as simple as that for the peak method now the next method that we'll implement will be and 
I will run the code at the end where we will create main class and uh, sorry main method and then we will do the insert peak poll all the operation so let us uh, implement the next method which was insert so we have public when we insert we don't need to return anything and we say insert and when we insert we take an element to be inserted so we say some value that we need to insert okay now how do we insert a value in in a heap so to understand that let us go back to the notepad or the one note and uh, i'll explain it with the help of example so where we will insert the number three so any new element that we have to add it will go into the next possible available slot so in this particular heap that we have as you remember by the definition here that heap is represented by binary tree which is complete and loaded on left side so this one is loaded on the left side next element that will be added to this heap it should go here which will be the left child of this number 8 so if I go back and if I need to create a new node so it will look something like this or I will just move this I'll just move this here and we'll create an arrow here so this is where 3 should lie now is this a correct binary tree the answer is no the reason being the since we are designing a min heap this number is less than 3 it is less than 8 and it is also less than 5 so it is out of the place so next what we need to do is next we need to move 3 to its correct place okay so how do we move this to its correct place to move 3 to its correct place we need to compare the value of the node that we have to we have inserted with its parent now how do i find what is the position of my parent so let us represent this as part of an array and if you see uh, the number that was designated here 0 1 2 3 4 and now this will be 5 for because this is the fifth element in this array so in the array representation this will look something like this so we have 5 first then we have 6 then we have 8 18 10 and finally we have inserted uh, 3 which is our last element so one thing that I told you in the beginning about the property is that if you know the parent node location if it is at x so the left child of the parent will be at 2x plus 1 and the right child will be at 2x plus 2 what this means is that if you know the position of your left child or the right child you can derive the position of the parent so if the position of child is x so the position of parent will be so let's first look at the first example so if capital x is the position of parent then left child lies at 2x plus 1 if small x or let's say y is the position of your child the left child then the parent will lie at y minus 1 divided by 2 so this will be parent node position it will be equal to this and if it is a right child then it will be y minus 2 divided by 2 either way the value since the division gives you the floor value uh, in case of java so either way it will be the answer will be same so you can deduce that if you know the position of child node you can derive the position of parent node for example in this case we added 3 to position 5 let me create the position array as well so we have 0 we have 1 we have position 2 here then position 3 4 and 5 so we added 3 at position 5 so what will be the parent of this 3 in figure i am seeing that it's 8 so let's apply this formula so 5 minus 1 which is 4 divided by 2 which is 2 
so whatever element is on the second position that will be the parent of my new element that i have added which is which turns out to be 8 here which is correct so what i need to do now is i need to compare the new node against its parent node and if if i find that this 3 is bigger or since it's min here so if this 3 is less than 8 i'll swap these two number so what i'm going to do now is i will swap these two so i will say this will become 8 and this will become 3 next i need to do the same thing till i find a place where this child's value is greater than parent value so next what i need to do is i need to compare 3 against 5 so again same thing will happen and uh, since 5 is greater than 3 so i will swap these two again so i will make it as 3 and i will make this as 5 now is this a correct min heap the answer is yes this is a correct min heap why let's see first one first is heap is represented by binary tree which is complete loaded on the left side yes yes this one is loaded on the left hand side second property says that min heap will have parent node value less than its child and this has to be true for all the parents so if i see here this is the parent it is less than these two child this is the parent this is less than this child this is the parent it is less than these two child so it follows the second property as well and finally third property also it will follow because it was already following that so this is how i will insert and then heapify my way towards upside so let's code for this process which we have discussed just now to insert the value first we need to check whether uh, the heap is full or not like in case of peak we checked whether the heap is empty or not so in case of insert we'll check whether the capacity is full or not to simplify that i will simply create a method for now i'll say it resize and uh, let me implement it very quickly so in resize what we need to say is we need to say heap this heap is equal to or before doing this i'll just check if the capacity of the heap that we have if this is equal to the size it means that the heap is full so in case the heap is full i will say arrays dot copy and i will create a copy of this heap with double the capacity and i will set the capacity as capacity into 2 so this will be a very quick operation what i will do is i will resize the heap in case it is full just a point to add here if you want to optimize it further you can add a load factor so you can pass a load factor here saying that the load factor is 0.75 or something like that which means that if the heap is 3 fourth full then in that case also you reheapify or sorry you increase the capacity so once the capacity is increased what i need to do is i need to insert the value and where i will insert the value in the last available position and here i will add the value i will increase the size and once everything is done i need to run the heapify operation so in this case i will do heapify up so like i explained <coughs> Uh, in the notepad section or in the diagram to heapify up what we need to do is we need to add the element in the uh, very end or the last available slot of the heap and then we need to move up so when we move up we compare the value of the child to its parent so we know the value of the child index will be the last index that is available which is size minus one since array in java is zero bound indexed now next thing i need to do is i need to compare the child value against the parent value so to get the parent value i need to know i need to know the index of the parent so let me quickly create a function i'll say private it returns int and it will be get parent index so if you remember from that notepad uh, if i know the child index i can return the parent index and the parent index will be 
द चाइल्ड इंडेक्स माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू सिमिलरली लेट मी क्रिएट टू मोर फंक्शन नाउ इट सेल्फ सो वन विल बी गेट लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इंडेक्स एंड अदर विल बी गेट राइट चाइल्ड इंडेक्स and here i need to pass the parent index this will also be parent index so the left child will be present at 2 into the parent index and this will be plus 1 and the right child will be present at 2 into the parent index plus 2 so i will implement and keep these two function or these three function so what i need to do is uh, i need to compare now when i do a hp5 so i need to compare the current index value with the with its parent and how long i have to do it how long i have to compare it till i find a parent whose value is less than this current index value because we are creating a min heap either that or till the The root is reached. So what we'll do is we'll say while we'll get parent index for this index, if this is greater than equal to zero, till then I will run the loop. Otherwise, I will exit from the loop. So here I need to make a check, and I will say if heap of get parent index, if the parent index value is less than If the parent index, we are creating min heap, right? So if the parent index value is greater than the heap of this index, it means I need to swap my current index value with the parent. So I will say swap get parent index for this index and the index. We'll implement the swap method later. And uh, once I have swapped, so I will make the index as this index will become get parent index for the index okay why i am doing this is because if i have swapped my so if you remember the example so there we had 3 eight uh, 3 i added in the very end so i swapped 3 with 8 so once i have swapped 3 with 8 i need to make the index of 3 as whatever the index of 8 was there before so i hope this part is clear and if it does not satisfy this criteria that heap uh, value of the parent index is greater than the child index then we break from the loop why we break from the loop because it means that we have already covered the we have already found a element which is less than the child element or we have already found a parent element which is less than the child element so let's quickly create this swap method so we have parent index we have child index so we will say in temp is equals to heap of parent index then heap of parent index is equals to heap of the child index and heap of this child index is equals to temp which was parent so we have swapped this so this is how we will implement insert method next we are going to implement the poll method so in poll we will return int because we need to return the int value there and before going into detail of poll let's see how we can uh, in theory how we can implement poll to poll what i need to do is i need to remove the first element which is 3 from this node and i need to reassign this uh, this heap in such a way that it is it follows all these three property of the heap so that is what i need to do so the simplest way to do this is uh, what i need to do here is that i will swap this 3 with the last element that is present in the heap so i will move what i will do here is that i will move 8 here and i will move three here and then once i have done this then i will cut this node so once i have cut this node now this 
follows the property of heap like it is a binary tree which is complete and loaded on the left hand side min heap will have parent node value less than its child this property is not yet satisfied which means that the node that we have swapped is not at its correct location so what i need to do next is i need to move this to its correct location how do i do that so one thing that i know is i need to move it either on the left hand side or the right hand side so where should i move this to so first i will compare this with this value whether 8 is less than 6 yes it is less than 6 so i can move it here i will compare it with this value also whether 8 is less than 5 it is less than 5 also so i can move it to the either place so if i move it towards 6 then what i need to do is i need to check it further whether it can be moved further below down or not for that i will compare 8 with 18 so 8 is smaller than 18 and 10 is smaller than uh, 8 so i cannot move it down further but the problem here is that if i move 6 to the parent node then what will happen is i will have a tree something like this i will have my 6 here and 8 here now does this represent a binary heap or a min heap the answer is no because 6 is greater than 5 so it does not follow the heap property again so what i need to do now is i need to compare this against both of them and whichever is the smaller one i will swap it with that particular element so what i will do is i will compare the parent against both the child and the child which has the lower value i will swap it with that child so in this scenario i will swap it with 5 so i will move 5 here i will move 8 here and that's it that's the end of the heap and this is a perfectly fine min heap so let us implement this logic for pool similar to the peak we will first check whether the heap is empty or not and if it is empty we will simply return from here that heap is empty then we will have a value and this value will be the first element of the heap and we need to return this value that is all the pool will do now there are few things that we have to take care here is whatever I explained in the example. So how do we swap or how do we remove the topmost element or the root element is I will swap it. The value of this will become heap of size minus 1 and we will remove reduce the size here. Now the last element which is present currently or the element which is on the size minus 1th position it will still be there but since we have reduced this size and every time we use this size for insertion purpose also so next time when we insert some element it will be overridden so we don't care about it for now only thing we care about is that we moved the last element on the top now once we have moved it to the top we need to heapify it and this time we will heapify it in a downward fashion so that we move the last element which we have moved to the 0th position to its correct position so how do i do a heapify down so for doing heapify down i know what is my starting index so that is the index 0 now from till when i have to do the heapification or till when i have to go down to heapify so i have to go down till i get the left child of this index and the left child should be less than the size so if the left child that i am getting for any particular index if that is less than the size of the heap then we are good to go further down if the left child of the index that i got is more than the size of the heap then i don't need to go further because the heap is complete now now the second thing is if you remember the diagram that i showed we need to find the smallest element among the left and the right child and whichever is the smallest element i will swap it against that so i will create a smaller index here and for now i will say this is equal to the index and then i will start my comparison so in my comparison i will say if heap of get left child index if this value is less than heap of 
smaller index what it means is the left side the left side i have a smaller value than the current parent node so in that situation my smaller index will be you get the left child index now i need to do the same operation for the right side also so i need to check whether i have something on the right side which is even smaller than what i got on the left side so i say get the right index and if this is less than the heap of smaller index then in this scenario my smaller index will come from the right side so i will say get the right side of the index okay so i have got the smaller index now if it happened that the index that i was at it was already the smallest index so everything on the left and right was greater than that so i don't need to do in that scenario anything because it means that that particular parent node is at its correct location so i'll make a check if the smaller index is not equal to the current index that i have then i will do some operation otherwise i will simply break from this loop so if the smaller index is not equal to the index that i started with it means that there is a smaller index that is present either on the left side or the right side so in that scenario i will simply swap the smaller index value with the index value and once i have done that i will say that my index is equals to the smaller index i hope it's very clear why i am doing this i am doing this because if you remember the example so there i compared 8 on the root with 6 first so since 6 is smaller than 8 so my smallest index became 6 uh, there uh, the index of 6 then again i had to compare whether the right side which is uh, which is 5 which was 5 there whether it is even smaller than 6 so if it is even smaller than 6 then i have to consider that element so here we have some issue which is this okay so if the smaller index is not same as the index i started with i will swap the value so i swapped 8 with 5 and i will make the index of 5 which i 8 uh, which i started with as the index of 5 so this is how i will heapify down so that is it for heapifying this uh, let us run this with some sample example i have already made a example so let me just use it i'll copy paste there is a print heap method also which i used it's nothing but just iterating through the array and printing it so let us compile this and run So if you see, we have one, three, four, ten, five. What it means is, I inserted in my heap first four, ten, three, five, and in the end I used one. But one has reached its correct position, which is on the top of the queue. Then we have three, then we have four, then we have ten, and then we have five. So, and when we peaked, it was one was shown as the peak value, but it was not removed from the heap. when i pulled one then the structure of the heap changed because one was removed from the heap and it took a structure something like this so let me copy it back and paste it here so this 3 5 4 10 it looks something like this we have 3 5 4 and 10 so it means and when i added one again so it took the structure back so this is how the min heap or even a max heap will be implemented it's pretty straight forward solution only thing you need to worry about is the heapify down and heapify up method that also if you are able to understand the logic i think it should be very straight forward that is it for this video see you in the next video thank you for watching tech dent